Come on, boo. You gonna come in? Come on in. Come on, boo. You haven't been in this room in over four months. Look at Simba. He's looking underneath the day sofa. Simba's like, what's going on under there? Oh, who's smelling? Hey, hey, boo! Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 10.40 a.m. Everyone has had their breakfast, and Sammy was banging on the door, so I opened the door to see what was going on, and as soon as I opened it, she jumped the gate, so she's out. And then when she was out, Goldie wanted to come out. When, since Goldie was out, Nancy wanted to come out, Ziggy wanted to come out, and then finally Eva came out. So today it's five. Five Goldie girls, because it's all the girls, and Boo's here. And let me tell you what happened. So it was the first time Eva came out while Boo was out. And Boo was sitting right here. And Eva just like walked up here. But she wasn't even paying attention. Like she wasn't even paying attention to Boo. She had her back to him. Like I guess she didn't feel threatened by him at all. Because I'm standing here just thinking to myself. Well I hope Boo is okay with this. Because she was getting in his personal space. Boo doesn't like other cats in his personal space. And Eva was getting in his personal space and she had, his, she had her back to him. Maybe that's why he didn't feel threatened because she had her back to him. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is very interesting. Like Eva didn't even think about it. Like she gave no thought of Boo being a threat. So I thought that was interesting. But maybe it's just because she's been very sheltered because she has so many sisters and brothers that, you know, they've protected her. I don't know. Anyway, here's Boo. Um, the door to the bedroom is open. Splash is on top of the cat tower. Um, so the cats are free uh, to go wherever they want today. The door to the downstairs is shut. The door to the bathroom is shut. And the door to the kitten room is shut. So the cats are free to go wherever they want in my room, the living room, the dining room, or the kitchen. All the other doors are shut. My boat. Okay. Be nice, Nancy. Be nice, Nancy. Now, this morning, Boo got brushed with this brush. He got brushed with the regular brush, like the yellow the slicker brush that I use on the cats. But he also got brushed with this brush, and he loves this brush. Boo loves this brush because it reminds him of when he lived outside. And I used to train him with this brush. This was his first, like, touch was with the brush. This was before I could even pet him. He used to love this brush, and he still does, look. He's rubbing it. Boo, you got two arches in here you could rub up on. You don't have to rub up on that toy. And he likes a good scritch scratch with it. Like, he likes a good scrub. Boo loves a good scrub with this brush. He loves a good scrub with it. Good job, Boo. He likes me to scrub the sides of his neck. And his legs. Ooh, you're looking, you're looking kind of furry right now. You're looking very furry. Okay, good. Then we straighten him up. Then we make him look nice. First we scrub him up, and then we make him look nice. Right, Boo? Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's 2 p.m. I'm taking a work break. Here's Boo. He's been taking a nap here. Good boy, Boo. Here are three cats. So there's little Eva on the pillow. Ziggy on top of the sofa cushion. Sammy on the other sofa cushion. Here's Nancy. So the question is, where's Goldie? Here's Splash. Splashes on the bed. Everyone's like really, really quiet right now. I have no idea where Goldie is. Here's Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Here's Richard. Hey, Richard. I found Goldie. She was under the bed, but I just scared Splash. Now he's under here, too. Here's Goldie. She just came out from under the bed. <laughs> She's not too happy. I'm sorry, Goldie. Here's Stella and Simba. They're relaxing down here. It's quite cool down here. So I guess they're nice and warm in their round beds. It's 2.35 p.m. 
There's now three cats on top of those sofa cushions on the back. Little Eva's still on the pillow, but uh, Goldie has joined Ziggy up there. So it's Ziggy, Goldie, and Sammy on top. Boo, do you know how special you are, Boo? Boo, you are the only black cat in the house. Yeah, Sammy's a black cat also, but she's a tuxedo. And you're the only black cat. You got a little white on your belly, but you're the only black cat in the house, boo. That means you're very special and you're very important, right, boo? Sometimes I think boo is a little worried that, um, you know, he's not so special anymore because of the other cats and kittens. But I have to remind him he's very special. You're a special cat, boo. You're very special. Yeah. You're the only big black cat in the house. Sammy's a little tuxedo girl. She's a little tuxedo girl. You're a big black cat. See, now he's happy. Now he's stretching. You okay, Boo? Okay. It's 12.30 p.m. and here's Splash. He's relaxing on the bed. And I just let the girls out. They wanted to come out. Today it's uh, the Goldie girls. It's four of them. Goldie, Ziggy, Sammy, and Nancy. Nancy was the first one out, followed by, I think it was Ziggy, then Sammy, and Goldie. And they're walking around in the room, and Splash is like, what's going on here? Here's Boo. He's hanging out in his office. I was brushing him with the flea comb a little while ago. He's been doing some self-grooming today. Um, I gave him some rescue remedy for pets. I actually went to Whole Foods this morning and I bought more of that. And uh, the window's open just a little bit for him. And I don't know if you could see it here, but like on his leg, um, he's not just grooming his belly. Last time he was just grooming his belly. Uh, this time he's doing some grooming on like his legs so here's what I realized today. Today I realized that years ago when Boo had an anxiety issue every time I went on a trip, like even if I was going away overnight on a weekend, um, sometimes Boo would get anxiety and I took him to the vet for that and the vet could not find any um, like physical issue and that's when, you know, the vet suggested anxiety. I thought maybe he had a UTI or something uh, because of his symptoms. Um, but what I did notice was that when I gave him the CBD oil, um, that definitely um, took away his symptoms and he relaxed more. Um, so uh, what happened was every time that I went away after that for quite a while, I would make sure to give Boo some CBD oil in the few days leading up to my trip. And also, I had to make a very conscious effort to pretty much move almost in slow motion when I was getting ready. Because, you know, I'm the kind of person that likes to just do things quickly. It's like, I want to get things done. I want to be efficient. I want to get things done quickly. I just want to do it. And, you know, I'm kind of high energy in that respect. But that was making Boo nervous. So by me consciously like slowing down when I was getting ready versus just getting things done, um, that really helped him. And that is what I remembered today that I used to have to like really slow myself down when I was getting ready to go on a trip, you know, packing, getting all my stuff together. So I'm thinking I need to do that because, you know, I've been on a routine and a schedule with all the cats and the kittens and their room and everything. And, you know, every day I'm just trying to get a lot done and I just want to get it done. Like, I want to get all the cat stuff done so I can then do the other things that I need to do. You know, I have a job. I have work to do. I am editing videos. I am posting content on YouTube. I'm taking care of, like, a house and other things like that. So... That's when I realized, oh my gosh, so today I'm going to have to make a conscious effort to do things more slowly, right, Bo? So we're going to we're going to see if this experiment works. Uh I did not give him any CBD oil because I knew I was going to let the other cats out and I didn't know if Richard and Ringo were coming out. And I don't want Boo to be like on CBD if, you know, Richard's going to attack him or something. So 
So I'm just making a note and I'm documenting that today I remembered um, I need to start like moving more slowly around Boo and not rush around so much. Also, once again on this camera, he's looking so much browner than he does in person. It's kind of crazy. It's 12.40 p.m. Here's Splash. He's still on the bed. There's Simba. He's in the penthouse. And there's Nancy. She's in the cat tower. So Nancy is exactly like right in the middle between Splash and Simba. I think that's Goldie. Is that Goldie? So there's Splash. There's Goldie. There's Nancy. There's Simba. I have to laugh because Simba does not look too happy. He's like, what's going on over there? And Nancy's like kind of oblivious to everything. And there's Goldie. See, these kittens are not afraid of the other cats. I mean, if they are, it's, it's very little. They have very little fear of the other cats. It's 12.52 p.m. right now, and this is what I'm going to do. I just opened the door to Boo's room. The bottom gate is still in the door, and the top gate is still in the door. I always leave the top gate in the door just because it's easier just to leave it there, and I just duck to go in the door. But... I think what I'm going to do is just leave the door open. So the door to my room is open. The door to downstairs is shut. But if Stella, who's, a, who's the only cat downstairs, wanted to come upstairs, if she pushes the door, it will open. But the cats can't open it from this side. So it's like shut, but it's not really shut. Okay, Sammy? Um... But I think I'm going to just leave this door open and see what happens. I'm going to leave the bottom gate in just so I could hear a cat jumping. I mean, sometimes they're quiet. I won't be able to hear it from the other room. But something like that I could probably hear as long as I don't have, um, you know, audio playing. So Richard is really the wild card um, because, A, he attacked Splash the time Splash was out. But that was quite a while ago and B he tried attacking Stella underneath the kitchen door um, that was a little while ago and C because he's never been out um, with the other cats Ringo's been out with the other cats Eva's been out with the other cats Richard's the only one that hasn't right now Richard is underneath the day sofa and there's Ringo so I think Eva's underneath the day sofa and Richard's underneath the day sofa and there goes there goes Nancy. So if I keep everything open like this, then the, the cats can come in and out whenever they want. Can you see how much bigger Ringo is than Nancy? He's a lot bigger than she is. So right now, Boo is relaxing very comfortably in his office, like the cat tower near where I'm working in the dining room. You could come out. I just heard some hissing. And I looked and Goldie was on the bed with Splash, but Splash does not want anyone to be on the bed with him. So he was hissing and she got off. And there's Ziggy. Ziggy's now in the cat tower. I think they might be afraid to go to the top of the cat tower because maybe Simba's hissing and growling at them if they go to the top of the cat tower. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. So here's Ringo. He just jumped over the gate. Looks like he wants to run down the hall and into my room. Okay, so Ringo is under the bed and Splash is on top of the bed. And there's little Eva. Little Eva wanted to come out because Ringo came out. So right now the only one left in the room is Richard. He could stay in the room if he wants or he could come out. 
And here's Boo. Boo is looking very comfortable right now in his office. This cat tower is his office. And yeah, so I gave him two drops of the rescue remedy and half of a squeeze up. And he was still grooming himself. So then, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later, I gave him two more drops of rescue remedy and the other half of the squeeze up. And he's been okay since then. Now rescue remedy is just flower essences. Um, it's not like a medication. It's not really like an herbal tincture or anything. It's just flowers. It's made from flowers. So, uh, and he only had four drops. So it should not affect him. It's not like CBD. If you have quite a bit of CBD, it could relax you to the point of, you know, maybe sleepiness or um, just sluggishness. You'll reactions might be slower than normal, but he's just on the rescue remedy. I don't know what's going on with this fish toy, but this morning Stella was laying with it. She might have been playing with it, but when I walked in the room, she was just laying with it. And now Nancy has it. There's Goldie. Goldie's tail's looking pretty big. I wonder if something scared her. And there's Splash. He's still right in the middle of the bed. Did you see his back? His back just rippled a little bit. I'm not going to walk in and freak him out or anything, but he's doing really good. Splash is doing so good right now, considering Ringo's underneath the bed. He went back under. He came out, then he went back under. Little Eva's walking around the room. Ziggy's still in the cat tower, and now Nancy's walking around the room. So Splash is doing really, really good. Here's Boo. Boo, you could take a nap if you want to, okay? Boo, take a nap, okay? You're okay. It's 4.15. I'm super zoomed in right now, so if this is shaky, that's why. And I don't even know who I'm looking at right now. Like, I just walked into the room, and I'm, like, looking at this, and I'm trying to figure out which cat this is. I think it's Simba. But it might not be. Like, I don't even know. So, that blanket that's sticking up behind his head is on is normally on top of the armor so that's why I'm thinking well Simba was up there in the penthouse maybe he came down and took the blanket with him but there's so many tabbies in the house right now like is it Richard I don't even know oh look it's Simba hello Simba how are you did you get kicked out of the penthouse did you get kicked out? Did Splash kick you out? Who kicked you out, Simba? There's Splash. Splash is in the penthouse. Did Splash kick you out? I'm sorry, Splash kicked you out. It is 6.35 p.m. and all the cats are officially together. I mean, I still have the bottom gate in, but everyone jumping over the gate. Um, Richard came out. That's Ringo right there, and I think that's Ziggy. Um, Richard's walking around in my bedroom because he's never been in that room before. And Simba's walking around. Stella came upstairs. Here's Boo. He just got some pets. Here's Stella. There's Goldie. There goes Richard. So far, so good. It was a nice, quiet day today. As far as the cats go, they were all sleeping for quite a while. So today was not a sunny day. It was kind of like a gray, um, just kind of like a yucky day. Um, it wasn't raining, but it felt like it was going to start raining any minute. So it was a good day for all the cats to relax. Boo is watching his room. I think he would really like to go into it. But um, I don't want him to go into that room until the cats are like out of it. Maybe if all the cats leave the room, I'll take Boo in there. I don't want there to be like a territory fight. That's, that's the issue. Hey, Ringo. How are you? You gonna come out? You wanna jump the fence? You gonna jump the gate? Come on, you could do it. You could jump the gate. You did it all day. Okay, so Ringo just jumped the gate. There's little Eva. 
Boo, you want to go in the room? You want to go in your room, Boo? Come on. Look at this. Simba's coming in the room. Sammy just came in the room. I don't mind if Sammy comes in because the cats have been with her. Come on, Boo. Come on, Boo. Come on. Come on in, Boo. Come on, Boo. You going to come in? Come on in. Come on, Boo. You haven't been in this room in over four months. Look at Simba. He's looking underneath the day sofa. Simba's like, what's going on under there? Oh, who's smelling? Hey, hey, Boo! Come here. Come here. I think that was Richard. Yeah. Richard, be nice to the cats. Come on, Boo. Come on. Come on, Boo. Come on in. Come on, Boo. Here. Okay, if you come in, I'm going to shut the door. Okay, Boo? Simba, you going to come in also? Come on in. I'm going to shut the door. It's just going to be the three of us. And Sammy, okay? Come on in. Come on in. Come on, Simba, in. Come on in. Simba, come on in. Come on, come on in. Come on in, hurry up, come on. Simba, hurry up and come in. Simba, come on in. Boo's scared. Come on, Boo. The problem is, here's the problem. If I open this, every cat in the house is gonna come running. Come on, Simba, look. Who wants this, come in. Come in here, come on. Sammy. Who's growling? So, Boo does not like other cats in his personal space. That's why if I keep Sammy a safe distance, I think I'm okay. Here, come here. Here. Okay, so. Did you hear that noise Simba just made? So, I got the door shut. Sammy's in here, Boo's in here, and Simba's in here. And they just had some of these snacks. There you go. No, Boo, what are you growling at Boo for? Simba's telling everyone he's a toughie. You're a toughie, Simba? No, he says he's a toughie. Sammy's hiding. <laughs> Sammy's hiding under the day sofa over there. Okay, guys, ready? Now, I have to make sure that when I open the door to leave, the uh, the other cats, like the, all the kittens, are not on the other side. Because I don't want these two to be ambushed when they leave the room. Okay? Good? Now, Boo's favorite thing to do in this room is to look out the window. Sammy's watching. Alright, good job, guys. Good job. So, Boo is by the windows. I thought I had the camera recording, but I guess I didn't have uh, it on. I opened the window about a half inch. He came up here. Um, he's smelling all around the room because obviously there's a lot of stuff in this room that was not in it the last time Boo was in the room. Um, so he's just uh, investigating. Simba's in here too. And <laughs> he's making his growling noises. You okay, Boo? Checking things out? If I shut the big light off, then he can look out the window better, but I'm not going to do it right now. Watch out, Simba. Sammy's under there. Sammy's under there. You going to go by the window, too? Okay, you go by the window. Simba used to go by... Simba used to enjoy hanging out by this window also. Oh, there goes Boo. Okay. You okay, Bo? Oh, look at this. That's right, Simba used to love the top of this cat tower. Simba loved laying up there. Okay, guys? There goes Sammy. Sammy, you wanna walk on the wheel? 
You want to go on the wheel or you want to leave? You want to leave the room? Okay, you want to leave? You want to go? You want to leave? You want to go? <laughs> so it's just Boo and Simba. And I still have to scoop out the litter boxes and everything. I looked at Stella. Stella's just sitting in the middle of the living room floor. And she's pretty happy right there. You guys okay? Boo, you're going to go underneath there? You're going to look under there? You want to leave too? This is your room, Boo. You don't like your room anymore? Here. You want to hang out over here? He's kind of freaked out. He's like, what is all this stuff? I wonder if he's going to use the litter. He's like, this is all new. Usually Simba will use the litter. Like, usually he likes to christen it. And there goes Boo. Is Boo going to use it? Is he just smelling it? It's probably hard to see him because it's like black on black. And he's smelling it. He's getting a good... A good smell. You good, Boo? You good? You okay, Boo? No? You happy to be in your room or no? Boo's like, what is that wheel doing in here? You're gonna go on the wheel? Imagine, wouldn't it be great if Boo started running on the wheel? I just put this small light on so Boo can look outside for a while. Simba's underneath the day so far. I don't know what he's doing under there. And Boo smell in the air. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 10.28 a.m. Look at Goldie. So I stacked up all the scratch and rolls so I could vacuum. I also stacked them up so the cats have more uh, running around space on the rug. And look, Goldie's laying on them. It's like that old nursery rhyme, what was it, the princess and the pea, where she slept on top of like a whole big pile of mattresses. How you doing, Goldie? There's Nancy. Nancy wants to play. Goldie just sat down. There's Sammy. So, I just cleaned out their room, I vacuumed, I dusted. Um, I vacuumed off the day sofa with the upholstery attachment. I gave them fresh water. The windows open like three inches. So I'm just about to give them some food. So today it's supposed to be around 58 degrees, like almost 60 degrees. So my plan is to use this warm weather and take all the litter boxes outside, empty them out, scrub them down, and then clean up, you know, the entire area inside, put them back, and just to uh, do a good monthly scrubbing on the litter boxes. So um, the weather this winter has been phenomenal. I don't want to jinx anything, but I feel like we earned it because the past few winters have been horrendous as far as snow and cold weather. 
and this year we've only had a light dusting of snow and we have had some cold weather but it hasn't lasted long which is good and for the most part this year we've had very mild weather and this is exactly how winters should be they should be nice and mild and not with crazy amounts of snow and very very cold weather i hate winter it is my least favorite time of the year so i'm very very happy that we are now more than halfway through winter and next month is spring so that'll be very good and so i'm going to just utilize the nice weather today hopefully i will be able to get out there early this afternoon and get everything done i have a lot of work to do um, like work wise and then also inside the house i have a lot to do For some reason, they love rolling around in those litter boxes. Maybe it's because of the shape of the litter boxes because they're like an oval shape. It is 11.15 a.m. And I just opened the door to the kitten's room or Boo's room or whatever we want to call it. The foster room. The cats are free to roam around the house. So Splash is on top of the cat tower in my room. Boo is on the cat tower in his office, which is the dining room. That's where I've been working off the dining room table. I did shut the door to downstairs. I think Stella and Simba are down there. Pretty sure they are. And I need to get a whole bunch of work done because I really want to head outside soon. And this is going to be a really good test for the cats to see how everyone gets along. Look at this. There's Boo. There's Ringo. So we'll see who everyone gets along, especially because I'll be outside for segments of time. It usually takes me, I don't know, at least 10 minutes to scrub out a litter box and then come back inside. And I'll be inside and out quite a bit this afternoon. So we'll see how it goes. I think Boo wants to go in his room. <laughs> he wants to go in his room and look at the window. But what's happening is Ringo. Ringo's right there. Oh, Boo's rubbing up against me. He's like, thank you for opening my room again. How you doing, Boo? You want to go in your room? I know you want to go in. I know you want to go in. Ringo, can you let Boo in the room? If you come out, Boo might go in. But I don't think he's going to want to go in with you there. I think he's a little bit afraid of you, Ringo. He doesn't want to get into a fight. You know, he doesn't like other cats in his personal space. Okay, Ringo, you want to come out? Come on, Ringo, there's plenty of room. You could come out, go in the other room. Okay? You could come out. You could come out, Ringo. Come on, you could come out. Oh, you're going to just sit down. Okay. Okay, so Boo does not want to leave this spot in the hallway. See? This is what I said. I said he wants to go in the room. Look at this. Look how brave he's being. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of cats under the day sofa. He's being very careful. Let's keep an eye on Ringo. Someone is growling a little bit. Be nice, everybody. Be nice. Is Boo going to back up? Hey, be nice, everybody. Be nice. Nobody wants to be in a fight. Nobody wants to be in a fight. You did very good, Boo. I know you want to go by the windows. Boo really wants to go by the windows. Okay, Boo, let's see who's in here. Come on. Who's that, Ringo? Okay. Boo, it's only Ringo. So, today was fish day, and the cats had some of the Earthborn Holistic Monterey medley, and then they had some of the um, salmon dinner that they really like so it looks like they left some of the monterey medley on the platters the cats don't really like that one i won't be buying it again um but uh they ate most of their food so i should also mention that boo was very happy this morning like happier than i've seen him in a very long time he was running around the house with crazy zoomies so it's either because he knows grandma and grandpa are coming to visit him tomorrow or because he was just really really happy to visit his room again last night and boo says it was both boo says he's really happy because he got to see his room and also because he gets to see his girlfriend grandma 
tomorrow, right, Boo? Yeah. <laughs> Look how happy he is. He's rolling around on the ground. There's Splash. He's in the cat tower. I think there's like three or four cats walking around on the floor over there. He's been good the past few days. He's really been holding his own. Like, nobody's been trying to fight or attack him. I think everyone wants peace, which is nice. So far, I don't want to jinx anything. But so far, everyone just wants peace. It's 11.26 a.m. I sat down to get some work done on my computer, and I just heard, like, a noise. Like, I don't know, like, something fell or something jumped or someone jumped and uh, so I came to look to see what happened and look it's Boo! Boo's by the window! And there are some cats walking in and out of the room so he's a little little on edge but I think this is why he's been so happy this morning. I think he's just happy to be back in his room and happy to be back by his favorite window. This is honestly these these two windows uh, are the best windows in the house. They get the most sun, they have a nice view of the patio, and they're just really nice windows. Now if it was only Boo by the window, I'd be able to like open it much further, but because you know the other kittens are going to be in and out of the room, I'm going to keep it where it is right now. Maybe I could open it another inch. Okay, Boo, you happy? They say that cats can get through any opening uh, that they can get their head through. So I think that opening right here is smaller than any of their heads. Although Sammy probably has the smallest head. I don't think she'd be able to get through there, but she might. She might be able to get through there. Hey, doing, Bo. You're back to your room? You're so happy to be back in your room? Good job, Boo. Just... Stay out of trouble, okay? You're the king of peace, okay? The king of peace. I think the other cats are at the point where they're happy to be out of this room because, you know, they spent several months where the majority of their time was in this room. And Boo has not been in this room at all since the beginning of October. So we're talking for about four and a half months. It's been about four and a half months since Boo's been in this room. Now, that's not the longest he's ever gone um, outside of this room when Ditto was sick. Um, Ditto was in this room for just about five months, and Boo was not in this room for five months. But he's really happy to be back in, so it's kind of like uh, the situation's reversed. He's really happy to be back in the room, and the other cats are really happy to be out of the room. Who's he looking at? One other thing I should mention is that this window has the old screen in it, which is um, a much thinner screen than the screen in this window. This window has a pet screen. It's supposed to be stronger and it's supposed to keep pets from being able to um, like break the screen or get through it. I don't know how true that is because, you know, cats with claws can get through almost all screens. But what I don't like about this screen, because it's uh, larger and thicker, it's much, much harder to film through it or to even see through it, which I don't like. This one is really easy to film through. This one is very difficult to film through because a lot of times the camera wants to focus on the screen instead of what's through the screen. And all of the videos have been previously recorded through these kind of screens, so. Oh no, he's checking out the food. He has food downstairs. I think Gringo's still under the day sofa. I think he just wants to see what they had for breakfast. Come on, Boo. You want to go in the wheel? He's just checking things out. Okay, good. Okay. You can go back in there later. Here's Splash. His window's open a little bit also. Oh, and here's Richard. Richard's the only one that I really have to keep an eye on. It's 11.40 a.m. I was just in the other room trying to send a text message to someone and I heard like a cat spat. Let's call it a spat because it wasn't a full-on fight. 
and I came in here and Boo's on the cat tower and Richard was either trying to get on the cat tower, maybe he was trying to get on this one, or maybe he was trying to uh, bother Boo, I don't know, but um, it did not escalate, thankfully, and then Richard backed off and went away. Prior to that, Nancy was howling for me to open the door to downstairs, so I opened the door to downstairs thinking, okay, maybe she wants to hang out here by the back door in the sun, but I don't know where she went. I think she went downstairs. So Stella and Simba are in their beds on the sofa down here. I don't know where Nancy is. I found her. She was just walking around, which is fine. She just wants to be nosy. Nancy, why are you howling? Nancy, why are you howling? You're okay. You're okay. Just be a nice girl, okay? Be a nice girl to everyone, and everyone will be nice to you, okay? Just respect everyone's personal space, okay? Everyone has a personal space around them that they don't like other people to be in, okay? So just respect that for the other cats and there will be no problems, right, Richard? Don't get in anyone's personal space. Splash is in the penthouse. Do you see him? Can you see him through the, uh, the mesh? He's looking at me. Here's Nancy. She's playing with the fish again. And there's Richard, he's all splooted out. It's 2.15 p.m. and look at this, Boo is back by the window because I started cleaning out the litter boxes and I guess because I had the vacuum running he got scared. And look, Sammy's in the cat tower. Sammy's in the cat tower, Boo's by the window. And Nancy just came out from under the day sofa. She's near me now. Good job, Boo. Hey, Sammy. So, it is now 4.11 p.m. and I'm sitting down because I just spent the past two hours scrubbing litter boxes outside and cleaning up like where they were inside in this room especially there was such a mess of litter on the floor and in these round um, cubby shelves there's so much litter in the back I only got out what I could get out um, someday I'm gonna have to move those shelves out and really get behind them um, I took all the little green mats outside and I really um, shook them out and it used to take me 45 minutes to do three litter boxes and today it took two hours to do seven. What is Sammy doing? And all the litter boxes have fresh litter and I went through I would say probably six or seven bags of litter and these are 20 pound bags of litter so each litter box like when I fill them fresh I probably put around 17 18 pounds of litter in the litter box just a little bit less than a bag maybe I put 15 pounds in um, so yeah there's a lot of fresh litter and a lot of times they like to roll around in the fresh litter so Simba is on a cat tower um, in the dining room Boo's on my bed, Stella's downstairs, Splash is in the penthouse, we just saw Sammy, Ziggy's up on there, and, and I don't know where any of the rest of the kittens are. They might be under the day sofa, which I'm sitting on, they might be under my bed, I don't know, I have no idea where they are, but everyone's behaving, there's no fights, everyone's quiet. So that is what has been happening lately in the late afternoons, like everyone gets really quiet, takes a nap, um, which is good. So yeah, we're about, you know, halfway through the day and things are going really, really well. I'm here with all the cats or the kittens. There's Ringo, little Eva, Richard, Nancy, Ziggy, Goldie's walking around and Sammy's up here. So they just got some treats 
And I just talked to Grandma because Grandpa and Grandma are on their way over. They're going to come by, drop some stuff off, and then they have an appointment in New Jersey that they're going to. And then they'll be back later in the afternoon. And yeah, let's see if they're going to meet these kittens for the first time. So Grandma and Grandpa have been here before while the kittens were in the foster room. But Grandma and Grandpa did not meet them because they didn't want to scare the kittens. Right, Richard? Hello. Nancy and Richard love each other. Right, guys? So maybe today, maybe today they'll get to meet the kittens. Let me tell you what happened in here last night. I didn't film it because it was very late. It was like after midnight, I was going to bed and I came into the room and there was just litter all over the floor. Like it looked like a beach, like a sandy beach. There was just litter everywhere. And Sammy was laying down here with uh, both of the runners, like the runner and then the um, the non-skid mat underneath the runner. She was kind of even like wrapped up in the runner um, she was, it looked like she was using it as like a little tent or something. So I had to sweep everything up the best that I could. Maybe today I'll vacuum it again. And, um, I still have to scoop the litter boxes, get all that done, get the kittens fed. And yeah, then we're good. It's 10, 15 AM. And for breakfast today, the cats are getting homemade raw food. And each platter has half of a can of, uh, canned food in the middle. And there's some crunchy sprinkled on top. Who's eating? All seven cats are in the room. It's really easy to get them in the room. I just walk into the room with the platters now and they all come in. Who's gonna touch me and then we're gonna eat, okay? I'm standing right here. Someone has to touch my legs and then we'll eat, okay? Touch my legs, then we'll eat, okay. Nancy and Richard both touched me. Be nice, Sammy. Be nice, everybody. Okay, ready? Look at Sammy. Hey Goldie, you gonna touch up? Goldie, you gonna rub up against me? You gonna touch me? I want Eva, Goldie, Ringo, or Ziggy to touch me. Eva, Goldie, Richard, or Ziggy. I want one of you guys to touch me. Come on, because I still can't pet you guys. You still don't let me pet you. So who's going to touch me? Sammy's thinking about bopping Nancy on the head. You could see it. But she knows Nancy's going to bop her back. Okay, who's eating? You going to eat some food? Who wants breakfast? Do you want breakfast? Nancy just stepped on my toe. Come on guys, Eva or Goldie, come on. Here's Ziggy. Ziggy, you gonna touch me? No, you're afraid? Who's gonna touch me? Where's Ringo? Ringo! Ringo's hiding. Ringo! Okay, Goldie just rubbed up against me. Okay, time to eat. All right, there are the platters 
and now I'm gonna leave. Ringo will come out once I leave. Simba's up there growling. Simba! Oh, is it Splash up there? So Splash is up there with Simba. Who's growling? You're growling? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 7.40 p.m. and this is what's going on tonight. So I just gave the cats dinner. Look at this, here's Boo. Boo's gonna eat the turkey probably. Um, I just gave them dinner and there were four cats in the room and I think the other three are hiding underneath my bed and nobody wanted to eat the food, which doesn't make any sense to me because they love this food. Um, it's some freshly roasted turkey, which is what Boo is eating now. Now, I should also say the other cats did not want to eat their dinner either. They had different food for dinner, uh, which they normally eat also. Um, they also had some roasted turkey, and Boo just wants to eat roasted turkey off of everyone's plates, so that's what he has been doing, and that's what he's doing now. Um, and I don't know, I think everyone's... Um, I think everyone's schedule and routine is off because grandma and grandpa were here yesterday and that really freaked the kittens out. They pretty much hid underneath the day sofa all day. They came out a few times, um, but it wasn't like a normal day for them. So at one point I did have the door to this room open and they could, you know, just roam wherever they wanted to roam. And they did come out because grandma and grandpa had left. And then when they came back, all the kittens got scared and went back underneath the day sofa again. And then today, their routine is off also. Now, here's what I'm wondering. So yesterday, um, because I didn't think that they were going to really want to eat much or come out to eat their dinner, I put this crunchy feeder in their room. And it does not look like they ate much out of it, but I'm wondering if that's why maybe they're not hungry because... They figure, oh, well, we have access to food. Why do we need to come and eat when we're served? So I'm going to take this away, and uh, we'll see if that changes tomorrow. So my main concern now is it's like 740, and I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Like, if I can't get all the kittens back in this room tonight, then, like, what's going to happen all night? Like, are all the cats just going to be all together all night? Are there going to be fights if that's the case? Like, what's going to happen? So we'll have to see. I mean, this is this is brand new that Boo's, like, going in their room and eating their food. But it's only because of the turkey. And here's Stella. And that plate is Splash's plate, but Boo wanted to eat all the turkey off of it. So I'm going to give it to Splash now. It is 8 a.m. and there's Boo. I just opened the window for him. He's smelling some air. Here's Stella. She's eating some cat grass. There's Splash. She's in the cat tower. Here's Ziggy. And here's Nancy. And here's Goldie. And last night was the first night that all of the cats were together was not by my choice, it was by their choice, meaning the kittens, because they would not go back in the room. I let them out in the afternoon, and then they would not go back in the room. I fed them dinner, and they didn't want to go back in the room to eat it, so I left it there for a while. And then later, I probably went to bed, um, like 11, 11.30, I picked up the platters because they were starting to get like way too wet. They probably ate maybe a third of the food on the platters. So then I went to bed and I was like, okay, if I don't give them any food, they'll be like really, really hungry. But then what happened was as I was trying to fall asleep, there was like um, a tuffle between some of the cats. So I had to get up and see what that was about. Then I went back to sleep and then Stella went up to the penthouse to sleep in the penthouse. And then I woke up probably around 1.15 in the morning 
because Richard um, was trying to go in the penthouse, but Stella was in the penthouse, so there was like a cat fight up there, and um, it was pretty loud. It woke me up, and then I uh, had to see what was going on like all around the house, and I thought maybe if I put a few plates of crunchies in here that I'd be able to get the kittens back in because they seemed like they were hungry, um, like Ringo, Richard, Little Eva, but that didn't work either. So here's Simba, he's on the stairs, going downstairs, and the kittens really enjoy spending time downstairs. I don't know why, but like yesterday, last night, the middle of the night, they want to be down here. So let's see what's going on. So last night, Sammy discovered this cat at track, and she enjoyed playing with that. They also discovered this cat tower here, and they were having a really good time playing with that. Here's Sammy. Hey, Sammy. What you doing? You okay? You hungry? Did you have a good night, Sammy? What did you do? Were you up all night? So the one thing that was amazing to me is that, I mean, they were up a good part of the day yesterday, and then they were up almost all night, if not all night. Oh, you want to play? See, this one has a green ball. The one upstairs has a red ball. And I believe I did order two replacement balls that light up. The one upstairs I need to replace the batteries on. This one, I don't know if I can replace the batteries on this one. She's rubbing up against me. What are you doing, Sammy? How you doing, Simba? You okay? Poor Bowie wants to go in his room and look out the windows, but there's three cats. Another thing that I should say is, at one point in the middle of the night, um, when there was some kind of um, argument somewhere, I woke up and Boo was sitting here and Richard was sitting there. And I was like, oh no, is this going to be a fight? So I walked in and I was talking to Boo. And then Richard like ran this way, which kind of upset Boo because, you know, if the other cats move too fast within his personal space, he feels violated. So then he got a little upset, so uh, I calmed him down a little bit, but then he was still like, he's like, I want to look at this window and don't bother me. So I was like, all right, then you stay here. Whatever happens, happens. But I have to say, um, I think I got a good five hours of sleep last night. Hey, guys, come on, everyone go in your room. Go in your room, and then we'll have breakfast, okay? I don't know why they're not eating the crunchies lately. Like, they didn't really eat much of their dinner yesterday, and... I gave them the crunchies and they're not really eating the crunchies. I don't know what's going on. Unless they ate the food that was on everyone else's plates, like um, Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo's plates. Um, they didn't really finish their dinner either, so. It's 8.35 a.m. Here's Goldie and Ziggy. And Ringo's on the bottom scratching. And there's Stella. And Stella's by the window in Boo's room. Sammy's looking at her from the door, and Nancy's by the door also. One thing I have to say with the door open and these cats not spending as much time in this room, um, it doesn't get as messy, and there's not as much to clean up, which is, you know, the one nice thing about this. So here's Nancy and Richard on the stairs. So Sammy decided she's going to jump up to the window and avoid the cat tower altogether, which is what she just did. I don't even know how she did it. She literally just jumped from the floor to the windowsill. Now, she's small enough she could easily stand on the windowsills. I don't know where she thinks she's going to go from here. This is going to be a problem. Because cats, you know, can't walk backwards on the windowsills very good. Oh, there she was. There's Simba. It's 8.40 a.m. and here's Boo. He's back by the window. He's grooming his tail. That's part of his over-grooming. His tail's gotten a bit thinner because he keeps grooming it. Now, I have been combing him with flea combs and I have not been finding any fleas. And I have been giving the cats more raw food. Um, and I've been uh, holding back on some of the canned food because I thought, well, maybe it was a food issue. But I think with Boo, it's a stress issue because it has seemed to have gotten a little bit better recently. There's Ringo on top of the cat tower. That's where Boo likes to go in the morning, so hopefully there won't be any issues. 
Simba likes to go up there too, but usually just boo. It is 9.45 a.m. Stella, Splash, and Simba are eating downstairs, and I was able to shut the door, so it's just the three of them down there. Splash is eating in the living room on the play rug, just because that's where he was sitting. Um, there are some cats under my bed. Um, Sammy and Nancy just walked out of the bedroom. My goal is to get the other cats out of my bedroom, and then um, hopefully if they're out of my bedroom, I could shut the door and then get them all back on their schedule so that they'll all eat their breakfast also. I don't mind Splash being out here with the seven other cats because, you know, they've spent quite a lot of time together right now, so I don't think they're going to attack him or gang up on him. And once I get them back into their room with their breakfast, then I could shut the door and then just try to get back onto a routine. The there's there's Richard, he just jumped down from the cat tower. So an issue that I'm having right now is I don't want to leave the house while all the cats are together. Like we're not at that point yet. I don't mind if they're all together while I'm home because I could hear any domestic squabbles, any domestic disagreements. I could, you know, hear that and put an end to it. Like in the middle of the night, um, I had to put an end to a few issues. So that's why I don't want to leave them out together all the time right now yet. So let's see if I could get the other ones out of my bedroom. So I just tried taking a yardstick and wiggling it around under the bed. And what that did was it made even more cats go under there. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to have to do is get the vacuum. And maybe if I run the vacuum, um, then they'll all scatter. I just gave the cats two platters of food. It's the homemade raw food that they like, and it's some canned food. And I have Nancy and Sammy looking at it. Nobody's eating it. They would all much rather hide under my bed. And this is not good. So I tried getting them out with the vacuum cleaner. It didn't work because the bed, it's a queen size bed and the vacuum cleaner does not, you know, go all the way under the bed. So then I, I tried with the yardstick. The yardstick is way too small. Then I have this other, it was like a physical therapy stick. I think it's like six feet long. That didn't work either because they didn't want to budge. They did not want to move. Okay, at least Sammy's eating some food. I just got five in the room. Two of them went back under the bed. So the goal is to get the other two out of the bedroom, shut the door, and then get them back in this room. I just got six of them back in this room. Um, Ziggy just went back in, and Sammy's the only one left under the bed. But if she comes out, I could easily scoop her up, put her back in this room. So that should not be an issue. And here's Splash. He's in the dining room. He says he's going to stay out of trouble. It is 10.05 a.m. I got all of them back in the room, even Sammy. She came out and I picked her up and then I dumped her in. So right now they're in the room. I need to get whatever I need to get done today. And they need to eat their food because they didn't really even eat any dinner yesterday. So they need to eat their food. They need to relax and eat their food. They were running around all night. So today they can spend some time in here and eat their food and relax. Okay, guys? So you're just going to be in here for a few hours, potentially, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. I need to get stuff done. I need to leave the house. I'm not leaving you with the other cats, okay? Eat your food. They love this food, so I don't know why they're not eating it. The other cats devoured it this morning. Eat your food. So as an expert cat herder, I will say that sometimes you have to just scare the cats. Sometimes you have to let them know you are the boss, you are the predator, and they better do what you want them to do. It's really a fine line you have to tread. Oh, now Sammy's back on the wheel. <laughs> Look at her go. You have to let them know who's alpha, who's the boss, and they need to do what you say. Eat your food, Sammy. Eat your breakfast. Go eat. Everybody eat their food. Eat the food. Eat your breakfast. Do you understand me? There goes Goldie. Is she going to eat it? 
She's smelling it. She's going to eat the other one. And sometimes you need to speak in a firm voice. That has some power behind it. Eat your food. Eat your food. When you eat the food, then you can think about coming out. There goes Nancy. There goes Ringo. Nope, just smelling it. Sammy going to eat it? Okay, I'm going to leave. I have not eaten my breakfast yet. I need to get on with my day. It's a work day today. This is not a day off for me. So for now, guys, you just got to deal with this, all right? Just deal with it. It's 2.20 p.m. Simba was just growling at someone, so I thought I would get up from doing my work and see what's going on. So these are the breakfast plates. A little bit more food has been eaten, but not a whole lot. Here's Ziggy by the window. There's Sammy and little Eva. Here's Nancy. Here's Richard. And here's Boo. How you doing, Boo? It is 4.04 p.m. And I'm just about to leave. I have to go to the post office and potentially run another errand or two. Um, I'm going to leave the cats out together because there's no way that I'm going to get the kittens all back into the room. So Boo's here. Uh, Stella, Splash, and Simba are in my bedroom. The door is shut. So Boo's basically the babysitter. Okay, Boo? Boo, you're the babysitter while I'm gone. I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible. So here's Ziggy. She's on the sofa cushion. Here's Nancy. There's Richard. There's Sammy. There's Goldie. So we've seen five of the cats. I don't know where the other two are. That is one of the plates of breakfast. That's the other plate of breakfast. So I think I'm going to pick up these plates and throw them out before I leave. It's 4.30 p.m. I was not out long and Ziggy is on the day sofa with the others. So right now there's five in here. I'm going to check to see who's underneath the day sofa. If it's all seven, I might put the gate up. Ziggy just moved that way when I looked underneath. As far as I could tell, there's only one cat underneath, which looks like Ringo. So that means there's six in here. I don't know where little Eva is. Okay, so I just put the gate up anyway. A little Eva was downstairs before, so she might be downstairs. Um, I'm just putting the gate up now because I would really like them to eat their dinner and I would like to get some more stuff done in the house. I feel like I'm really behind today. And part of it I blame on YouTube because I've been trying to upload a video to YouTube and for some reason there, there's like a glitch with their upload system today and it's not uploading properly and I feel like I'm waiting forever on it. But uh, other than that, yeah, I still need to get a lot of stuff done. And I just opened the door to the bedroom now, so Stella, Splash, and Simba can come out if they want to. It's 5 p.m. We just heard a cat screech. Simba's up there growling. Simba! Oh, is it Splash up there? So Splash is up there with Simba. Who's growling? You're growling? Is Splash growling or Simba? Who's growling? Boo's upset, Simba. Boo just jumped on the bed because he wants to see what's going on because he don't like this stuff in the house. You know Boo likes it when everyone is calm and gets along, right, Simba? It's okay, Boo. It's okay. They're okay, okay? Don't worry about it. Boo doesn't like hearing those kind of upset cat noises. You're okay, boo. Everything is okay, okay? It's all good. It's almost 7 p.m. I just opened the door to their room. I took the gates down and they're all just hanging out in there. It was like nobody wanted to come out of the room. So it ends up that little Eva was underneath the bed in my room and I was able to get her out and I was able to get Splash in. So Splash is eating his dinner in my room. The other three cats are eating their dinner downstairs and I'm here with the seven kittens. So I'm gonna let them roam around for a while like they've been doing. I actually want to make some homemade raw food, so I might do that now. 
and that'll take at least an hour probably a little bit more than an hour so then by then hopefully they'll be hungry and i'll be able to get them back in their room i would like to get a good night's sleep tonight i don't think that's going to happen if like all the cats are out and about um so that's what i'm hoping Look at this, look, 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 look. There's two cats on the wheel at the same time. Look at this, look. Richard's figuring it out. Look at this, look. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hello, little Eva. So it is 10.30 a.m. And I just cleaned up the room. I reset it really quickly. I actually vacuumed it. And I scooped out the litter, topped up the litter, um, gave them from, gave them some fresh water, opened the window a little bit. And I just wanted to document the fact that they are back on their schedule. They're back on their routine. So last night I was able to get them all back in this room. And once they were all in the room, I was able to give them dinner in this room and they ate their dinner. Not only did they eat their dinner, they asked for seconds. So I gave them some extra dinner. Here's Nancy. So they had a really good appetite. Their appetite came back and they then spent the rest of the evening in the room. So they slept in the room and that was really good because then I was able to get a good night's sleep. And so, the plan is to go back to the routine that we had. So right now, Splash is in my bedroom with the door shut. He ate his breakfast there. And Stella, Boo, and Simba are downstairs. They're having their breakfast there. And these guys are just roaming around the house doing whatever they want right now while I clean their room out. Now that the room's clean, we're going to have a little bit of playtime. Then I'm going to give them their breakfast in there. And then they're going to stay in there for a little while while I'm able to get other things done. And these are two packages that I just picked up from the post office yesterday. There's some other mail I'm going to add to this. And I would like to film a mail time video today.
It's 10.45 a.m. The cats are getting homemade raw food for breakfast with a few crunchies sprinkled on top. I got all seven in the room, no problem at all. Just walk in with the food and they all follow me in. So I'm just about to give them their breakfast. Um, I do have nature videos on for them. They like watching them, especially Ziggy. They just had some play time. And yeah, so right now we're getting back to a sense of normalcy. You have to remember cats like routines and cats like schedules. They like being on a routine and a schedule. So they're gonna have their breakfast and I remembered that today is Valentine's Day. So I have some lobster tails that they're gonna have for dinner because Ditto loved those. So in his honor, we're having lobster tails for dinner. Right guys? Okay, all right. Everybody, let's eat breakfast, okay? Let's eat our breakfast. We had a lot of playtime. We had a snack. They each had one of the bench and field treats. And now they're going to eat. They're so happy to eat again. Okay, let's go. There's their food. They all came out to eat. And they're still doing good eating on these platters. There's plenty of room for um, three or four cats on a platter. It's almost 6 p.m. I'm going to show you what's going on underneath the day so far. I don't know if everyone moved. I mean, Ziggy moved. So, there's Nancy. You see her over there? And there's Goldie. And here's Ziggy. Right? Oh, yeah, they moved. And there's Ringo and Richard. Richard was laying like Simba. He was like all on his back with his feet sticking out. I was like, how is that even possible? Because all these cats were on top of each other. So there's little Eva, Ringo, and Ziggy. Here's Ziggy, Ringo, little Eva, Richard, Goldie, Nancy. Now Sammy is underneath my bed. She left the room. So I'm just about to give these guys some dinner. And yeah. They're already in the room. I need enough to get them in the room. So what happened was this afternoon, I fed them some leftover roasted chicken on this little plate. So I think that's what uh, got them in the room. Maybe it made them a little bit sleepy because turkey can make you sleepy. And yeah, so there's Nancy. She's getting up. So all four of the other cats are eating their dinner downstairs right now. They're having some churros on their dinner for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to give these cats their meal and then I'm done with cats. It is quite a bit later and the cats just had a lobster tail on the empty platter. Ringo really enjoyed it. So did Ziggy. And I think even Goldie had some of it. Um, Richard enjoyed it too. So I just brought them another lobster tail that I've cut into pieces. I'm gonna put it on the platter. And I also brought in some cooked chicken. There you go. Here's the lobster tail, guys. And then I'm gonna put some of this cooked chicken on top of the canned food. I don't know why they're not eating the canned food. It's the wellness canned food. They usually like it. And today I made some chicken broth with um, the bones from some chicken thighs. Um, so I just took whatever meat was left on the bones and the broth. So they should enjoy this. This is their little Valentine's Day party. And I think what I'm going to do with another lobster tail is I'm going to do what I used to do for Ditto, which is puree it. I would make a puree with lobster tail and then um, like some chicken broth. Maybe they'll like it better. So Stella and Boo uh, don't like the lobster tail. Splash and Simba devoured it. Um, Sammy's eating some of the cooked chicken. Goldie's eating some of the cooked chicken. And there's Ringo. Ringo really loves the lobster tail. What are you two guys doing? What are you doing? I'm not going out right now because I need to clean the kitchen, okay? Oh, look, look, look. Look, look. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Here, Ron. 
Walk, walk on it, walk on it, Richard. Walk on it. Go ahead, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. Good job, Richard. I gotta put the camera down. He actually took a few steps on the wheel. If the camera was not in my hand, I could have gotten him to walk on it more than that. Because if I turned the wheel, he would have walked on it. Nancy. Nancy, that's a shoelace. Nancy, that's my shoelace. Look at this. Look, 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 look. There's two cats on the wheel at the same time. Look at this. Look. Richard's figuring it out. Look at this. Look. Richard and Sammy are on the wheel at the same time. Sammy loves this wheel. This is the first time I've seen Richard on it ever. That is awesome. Meanwhile, I pureed one of the lobster tails with some chicken broth. I put it on this platter and little Eva is devouring it. She loves it. I gave the other cats some also. They each got like a tablespoon of it. But she's really enjoying it. Wanna walk? Come on. Here. Was Richard gonna join you? Richard gonna come on there too? Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard, you can do it, come on. Come on, Richard. He keeps putting his paw on it. He's like, wait, I want to go on it. Maybe Richard likes going in this direction. You gonna go on, Richard? You gonna go on? <laughs> Sammy's holding on. <laughs> Richard's trying to go in this direction and Sammy's like holding on. She's like, I'm not getting off. <laughs> Sammy likes running in this direction. Richard likes running in this direction. Good job, Eva. You want me to turn this around? Here. We want to finish the rest of it? So I would say about half of these cats really enjoyed the lobster. I don't know why they're not eating the chicken or their, their meal. I'm going to leave it here for them. There's Nancy and Ziggy. <laughs> hey, Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. Hello, Nancy. What are you doing, Nancy? Look at Goldie. How you doing, Goldie? You tired? Goldie, you tired? You feel okay? You feel okay? Guys, look at this. This is Ringo. Is Ringo going to go on the wheel? I don't know what's going on today. You going to go on the wheel, Ringo? No? He's been talking a lot tonight. Here, Ringo, you want this? Want this? Look at what's going on here. There's three cats in the three beds on the couch. I think it's Nancy, Richard, and little Eva, but I could be wrong. Maybe one of them is Ringo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.45 p.m. Here's Simba. He's relaxing in this cat tower. Here's Sammy. She's resting on the sofa cushion. 
Um, all the other cats are in the room. Um, I gave them dinner. Nancy actually ate dinner downstairs with Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba. Um, but then she came up and she went in the room with the other cats. There is a problem, however, and the problem is that I can't find Goldie. So when I gave the cats their dinner, she was not in the room. She did not come into the room. And I looked through the entire house twice now. I've looked uh, everywhere. I've looked in every closet uh, with a flashlight. I've looked under every piece of furniture. I've looked behind every piece of furniture. Um, I looked downstairs multiple times in every nook and cranny. Can't find her down there. Um, I checked every room upstairs. Can't find her anywhere. I mean, I looked in closets. Like, I have no idea where she is. Absolutely no idea. And this is the first time that she didn't show up for dinner and I don't think she went outside today because um, usually she's nowhere near me if I go in and out of a door and there's no signs of anyone escaping through a window and I don't know where she is like I have no idea where she is um, the cats did have free roam all afternoon and they were allowed downstairs and Nancy was still down there so I'm thinking okay maybe Maybe Goldie is hiding somewhere downstairs, but I mean, I have no idea where. I searched everywhere, like every corner. Only like, is she behind the curtain? No, there's nothing behind this curtain. It's just Sammy. So yeah, I have no idea where she is. I know where all the other cats are. I know Simba, um, Stella and Splash are on dining room chairs. Boo is in the cat tower in his office. The room to... The door to my room is completely closed, and if she was in there, I would think she would be meowing and trying to get out. Another thing that's really weird is because she is very vocal, like, I have not heard any meowing. Like, I don't hear any meowing coming from anywhere, so... Yeah, this is the first time I've ever really, really lost a cat in this house. Like, I have no idea where she is. No idea. It's 8.15 p.m. I was sitting down here and scrolling through some videos on YouTube and all of a sudden I heard like something moving and it was coming from like the middle of this entertainment unit. I have like this boo sign here that's lighting for the cats and I guess Goldie was laying on the shelf behind like these DVDs. She must have been there because then I heard her moving and she moved onto this shelf with this with this cat shaped LED and then there's some like um, the vintage banks like coin banks and now she's on top of this shelf behind these banks. Now somebody knocked that rainbow bank which is vintage 1980s. I've had that since I was a little girl and someone knocked that over and miraculously did not break. I thought it was Sammy, but it might be Goldie. So at least I know she's down here and I found her. It's almost 10 p.m. and Richard just had some snacks with the cats. I didn't even realize he was here. He was just like laying here. And so I just gave him some bench and field treats. The cats are having some catnip. And they had some crunchies. And I have to say that um, they've just been getting like a spoonful of crunchies at a time. And earlier this evening, they had crunchies with Sammy. So Sammy was like here on the floor. Boo was here. Stella, um, Simba, and Splash. And that worked out really well. Um, so Sammy had some crunchies with the cats. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but Nancy had dinner with the cats downstairs. So when I went downstairs with Boo, Stella, Splash, and Simba to give them dinner, Nancy was already down there. And I was like, Nancy, you want to have dinner? So I just gave her a plate of food with everyone else. And she had some dinner down there with the cats. So Nancy had dinner with the cats. Sammy had crunchies with the cats. And Richard just had some snacks with the cats. And so far, everyone's been getting along. I don't want to jinx anything, um, especially since I just gave these guys some catnip. But usually what I do is I'll give them catnip on the rug the night before I'm, I know I'm vacuuming. Like tomorrow morning, I usually vacuum the rugs. So that's why I was like, I'll give them some catnip now. That way I just vacuum up anything that's left. Simba is growling at Richard right now. 
Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that the catnip just mellows them out and doesn't make them like more aggressive or anything. So a lot of the kittens are downstairs right now. I don't know why they just love it down there. Um, and Goldie's back up on the shelf. She's back up uh, to laying on the shelf behind the DVDs. I guess she likes it there. Um, and Nancy and Sammy and Ziggy are chasing some toys around and uh, Ringo was down there, but I think Ringo and Eva are in Boo's room right now. So this is what's going on in here. Boo's eating off the platters and Ringo and Eva are by the window. It is 12 p.m. And there are three cats napping on the sofa. I think it's little Eva, Goldie, and Sammy. Here is Richard in a cat tower. And here's Nancy in a cat tower. I'm not sure where the other two cats are, which would be Ringo and Ziggy. They might be under the day sofa. Um, so last night, all the cats were together. So all the kittens were on free roam. All the other cats were on free roam. I mean, it's their house. They get to do what they want. So, um, yeah, it was a very uneventful night, which was nice. And then this morning, probably around 5.30 or something, um, I heard some growling because Stella was sleeping in the penthouse and Ringo was on top of the cat tower. And I guess she just didn't like him being that close. But there were no fights or anything. Everyone got along. The kittens spent a good portion of the night downstairs. Uh, they really, really enjoy spending time down there. Um, and then this morning, they all ate in their room. I had to pick Sammy up and put her in there because she just didn't want to go in. But she ended up going in and eating. And uh, the other cats ate downstairs. Splash ate in my room. So uh, it's been good. Then after they ate, they wanted to come back out of the room. So I let them out of the room and everyone's been sleeping. They should sleep most of the day because they were up all night, like all night. They were just having a really, really good time. Uh, my cats, on the other hand, Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba, you know, they sleep at night. So even if they get up early in the morning, um, they do sleep at night when I go to bed. And these guys were just up. It's 3.30 p.m. Here is Boo. He's been laying in the cat tower here. I've been getting some work done, and I have to run out. I have to go to the post office. I want to go to Petco. Now, I ran out a little while ago. I had to go to Staples, and I left the cats on their own. All the cats are out and about and together, and everyone's just sleeping today, so um, that's good. So here's Nancy. Here's Nancy. She's downstairs in one of the round cat beds. She was sleeping so cute. I wanted to show you how she was laying in it, but she got up. See how small she is? She only takes up about half of that bed because she's such a small cat. And there's Stella. Stella's on the other side of the couch. So there's Stella. There's an empty cat bed. And there's Nancy. Stella's probably twice the size of Nancy. Nancy is a very small cat, like Sammy's a very small cat. There's Splash. He's been relaxing on the ottoman. I think there's a few kittens down here also. And here's Simba. Simba was on top of the cat tower pretty much all morning. He just got down. How you doing, Simba? There's Sammy. She's in a cat tower. And there's Goldie on top of the couch. It's 7.30 p.m. And the cat on the right is Nancy. She decided she wanted to eat dinner downstairs with Stella, Boo, and Simba. Splash was also down there, then he ran upstairs. So I gave her uh, the food that she likes because I didn't expect her to be eating uh, the same food as the other cats. I split up the cans four ways for the other cats, and then I looked and I saw Nancy. I was like, oh, I gotta give her some food. So she's really happy. This is the second day in a row where she's wanted to eat dinner with the cats downstairs. So I'm going to shut the door now. I'm going to feed Splash, get the other cats fed. It's 8.15 p.m. and here's Simba. He's hanging out in this cat tower. Hey, Simba. And here's Nancy. Nancy's hanging out in this cat tower. Nancy likes to be near Simba. She likes to be near Stella, too. 
Okay, Nancy, you could stay. You don't have to move, okay? You stay there. You stay. So here's Nancy all curled up in this cat tower. She's the only cat out right now. All the rest are in the room. And here's Simba all curled up in the cat tower. Notice that Simba is a lot bigger than Nancy. He's a very big cat. And Nancy is a very little cat. Right, Nancy? It's about 10.20 p.m. right now. The cats are having their crunchies. And there's Nancy. Do you see her in the upper left corner? I think she wants to be part of this group. It's 8.27 a.m. Here's Stella. She's hanging out on the bed. She got some pets this morning. There's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Nancy jumped on the cat tower so she could look out the window. Let me show you what I just found downstairs. So this is near the litter boxes downstairs. This is where I keep a bunch of the bags of dry food that I buy for the cats. I'm going to have to move the bags now because, as you can see, someone has been breaking into the bags. Potentially many someones. So this is a small bag that I had from quite a while ago. I never opened it. It was not opened. I just had it as like a backup if I needed something um, for cats outside. Also, sometimes if cats are sick and they don't want to eat, sometimes if you give them like the equivalent of cat junk food, then they'll actually eat. So that's why I had this. I just had it to have it. And look what they did. They broke into the bag and they didn't eat everything, but they broke into the bag. So I'm either going to have to put this in an airtight container or I'll just put it outside for um, the strays there. And then this large bag, I'm going to have to um, find some kind of containers to put it in because the bag has been violated. Here's Richard. He was laying on top of one of the sofa cushions when I woke up and I don't know why, but he's like afraid of me now. It's, it's very hard for me to pet him because he's always kind of like running away from me. It's really weird. If they're in the little room, like Boo's room, then he's fine with me most of the time. Sometimes he still runs. But like this morning, I was like, hey, Richard, good morning. And I tried to pet him and he ran away from me. See, look, give me pets, Richard. Richard, give me some pets. Come here. Come here, give me pets. Did you eat the crunchies, Richard? Are you acting guilty, Richard? It was you? Was it you? Who was it? Who did it? I think it was Sammy. Or maybe it was Little Eva. Give me pets, Richard. Here's Ziggy on the cat tower. So she could actually fit there on the cat tower because these are smaller cats. It is 10.45 a.m. And I just fed Stella, Boo, and Simba. Um, and Nancy decided she wants to eat with them. And Sammy's down here also. She wants to eat on the other side of the room. So she's a little bit afraid of Boo and Stella because they were growling at Nancy. Because I did not expect Nancy and Sammy to come down to eat with the other cats. But they were a last minute addition after I got everyone else's plates together. So I had to open up another can of food. And I gave them some of the other can. But it looks like, I don't know, maybe Nancy has just decided that she wants to eat with the big cats. It's 7.30 p.m. Boo's eating dinner on the steps. There's Stella. There's Sammy. And Nancy and Richard have plates over there, but they just walked away from their plates. I don't know why. And here's Simba. Simba is eating over here because I forgot to put dried sardines on his plate. He won't eat without dried sardines. So I put the dried sardines on and he wanted to eat here. It's 8.45 p.m. I'm just about to give the cat some crunchies. I was downstairs for a little while relaxing, reading a book, and... Let me tell you what just happened. So I sat down right here and Boo was right here and Nancy 
walked right up to Boo and she headbutted him here on his side. But thankfully, I was holding him like this and I don't think he even knew what happened. So I was able to move him toward me really fast. If I was not petting him, I don't even want to think what would happen because Boo does not like it when other cats get into his personal space at all. So um, I just wanted to document that. Seems that Nancy likes Boo. She was trying to headbutt him. Boo does not like it when anyone headbutts him at all. So very thankful I was here to catch that. It's about 9, 10 p.m. All the kittens are in the room. Um, they have some food. I put a toy on for them and for now, they're in the room. I'm thinking maybe they'll spend the night in the room. They've spent the last two nights not in the room. Just like doing whatever they want uh, roaming around the house. Um, so I want to make sure that they eat their meals. That's why they're in there with their dinner. It was relatively easy to get them all in. Um, six of them went in when I put plates of food down. And then Ziggy was the last one. And then she was laying by the door. She was laying by the door crying because she wanted to go in. So I opened the door. She went right in. So maybe they'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Maybe they'll finish the food on the plates that I gave them. Um, I gave them the food that Nancy... Richard and some of the other cats didn't eat downstairs and I also gave them some crunchies and I gave them a can of food so I don't know why but Lately the cats are not as into that wellness pate as they were previously So it's kind of weird This is what Nancy does she likes to stick her paws through the gate like she wants to come out but Nancy just hang out with your family, okay? Hang out with your family, okay? Maybe we'll all get a really good night's sleep. I got a good night's sleep yesterday, but... Um, I think it's good. It's good for them to be trained to go into this room, so if I need to get them into this room, I can. It's challenging to get them into this room at any time other than mealtime. I'm just about to feed the cats breakfast, and look who's down here. We have Richard, Nancy... Sammy just ran to the back. There's Ziggy underneath the Ikea bed. And there is little Eva. So what I did today was I brought down half of the food that I would normally feed them. And I'm going to feed them on a platter. Because too many individual plates is just too many at the same time. So Boo, who's here, Simba, who's here, and Stella, who's here, are going to eat on their individual plates. I made a plate for Splash. And these guys are going to eat on a platter. Just one platter. I'm going to put another platter in their room because I don't know who's going to eat. I fed them dinner down here yesterday. They took two bites. They didn't eat it. So I think they just like being down here with the big cats. I think they want to be like the big cats. I think that's what's going on. They look up to the big cats and they want to be like them. Right, Boo? And Boo has been very, very tolerant this morning. Very, very tolerant of the cats. So here's what's going on. There's Boo. There's Simba. There's Stella. Stella wanted to eat off the platter with the other cats. Here's Richard, Nancy, and Ziggy. Stella just got mad at little Eva because little Eva's going upstairs. And Sammy has not gone over to the platter to eat. So I'm going to put the other platter upstairs. So this is the other platter of food I just put in their room. And none of the cats are in the room. So um, I think one or two of them are under my bed. I just saw Goldie walking around. So hopefully they'll come and eat it. Whatever's not eaten downstairs, they can go eat, and yeah, I mean, it's plenty of food for everyone, they just gotta eat it. It's 6.30 p.m., I'm just about to go downstairs and give the cats dinner, meaning um, Stella, Splash, Sim, and Boo. I gotta show you what I just saw. Look at what's going on here. There's three cats in the three beds on the couch. I think it's Nancy, Richard, and little Eva, but I could be wrong, maybe one of them is Ringo. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Yeah, it looks like Nancy's on the bottom, little Eva's in the middle, and Richard's on top. They're like, don't turn the light on. I have to feed the other cats because Simba is really hungry. He's starting to chew the wires to my computer.
I just gave the cats their dinner and as I was bringing the plates out, Nancy started approaching Simba like she was going to headbutt him. And she stopped about a foot away from him and Simba was looking at her like, what are you doing? I think Simba might like it though because Simba tries to headbutt Boo sometimes and Boo doesn't like being headbutted by anybody. But maybe Simba wouldn't mind it. Stella's eating over here because she tried to eat off the platter again. I was like, no, Stella, the platter's not for you. So I gave her her, so I put her food here. And here's the platter. And so far, Sammy and little Eva have been eating. I don't know why Richard and Nancy are not eating. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.